images add another level of visual interest to a website. And for some sites, such as clothing and home furnishings, images are a required element of the page detail. We add an image using the IMG, or image, element. The image is an empty element, meaning it has no content. It tells the browser, hey browser, insert an image here. But what image? We identify the image to display using the SRC attribute and assign a URL. The SRC attribute defines the source location of the image, often on the same web server as the website. If we only specify the path and file name, not the domain name of the site, the provided URL is assumed to be relative to the current folder. In this example, the recipe image is in an images subfolder of the same folder as the document. Provide an absolute URL to reference an image from another domain's web server, as shown in this example. Here are some tips. Store your images on the same web server as your website, and use a relative URL, not an absolute URL, to access them. This improves performance because the browser doesn't need to look up the domain. And please note that most images on the internet are copyrighted. Don't add an image to your web page unless you own the image, have permission to use the image, or the image is in the public domain. The image element has several other useful attributes. The alt attribute provides alternate text for the image. This helps screen readers and provides text if the image can't be found or downloaded. Be sure to be descriptive. The height and width attribute set the size of the image on the web page in pixels. A pixel is a picture element and defines a logical small square of an image. The actual physical size of a pixel depends on the user's display resolution. When changing the size of an image, be aware of the aspect ratio. This is the ratio of the image's width to its height. Many photographs have a 3 to 2 ratio. Notice the width of 300 and height of 200, so the new size maintains the photo's aspect ratio. For semantic HTML, it's often a good idea to wrap the image element in a figure parent element. The figure provides a container for figures that allows us to clearly match up a figure with a caption. The fig caption element provides a caption for the image. This is different from the alt attribute on the image element in that the alt attribute text only appears if the image can't be displayed. Add the fig caption before the image element to display the caption above the image, or after it to display it below. This is the result. Let's add the pet's picture to the pet details page. Before we can start this demo, we need to get images. You have a few choices here. You can use some of your own photos. You can download images from the internet, but be careful of copyrights. Or you can download my images to follow along with the exact images I'm using. If you want to go with this last option, scroll down below this video to the lesson links at the bottom of this lesson. There you can find instructions and links to download the images. If you are coding along, pause the video and get your images now. Were you able to locate some images? If so, we are ready to move on. Going back to VS Code, with the Pet Cafe folder open, click to open Explorer. Let's create an images subfolder under the Pet Cafe folder to keep our project organized. Click New Folder and name it Images. Copy the images you plan to use to that folder. I'll drag and drop my images to that folder. Now let's click on the yoyo-detail.html page. Close Explorer, and let's add the image. Scrolling up, since the main purpose of this page is to provide details on Yoyo, let's add his picture inside the main element here after the heading. We start with the figure element. Inside the figure, we use Emmet to add the image element. We type IMG and Tab to pick the first option from the menu. Emmet generates the element with its two key attributes. 
Since all of our images are on the Images subfolder, for SRC, we start by typing images slash, and VS Code displays the files in that folder. Arrow to the desired image. I'll pick the image of Yo-Yo and press Tab again to select it. Press Tab to move to the Alt attribute. We set the Alt attribute to a description of the picture. Yo-Yo the cat, sitting on a fence, enjoying some fresh air. I'll reformat to show the full line. We add the fig caption after the image and set its content to Yo-Yo enjoys being out in the backyard. And that's it. Click Go Live to display this document. And whoa, that image is big. Let's adjust that image size. Back in VS Code, let's set the image height to 200 and the width to 300 pixels, keeping the correct aspect ratio. Looking at the browser, that's a good size. I'll arrange the windows. To test out our alt text in VS Code, change the image URL to something invalid. I'll delete the E at the end. Looking at the browser, we now see our alt text instead of the image. Don't forget to change the URL back to the correct file name. And we have our image again. Next, let's add an image to another page. Close the browser and stop live server for this page. Moving on, click the index.html file tab. If it's not shown as a tab along the top, open Explorer and click to open the index.html file. Close Explorer for more space. Scrolling up, now let's add an image to our home page as a logo of sorts. We want the pets.jpg image here at the top, nested in the header element. Want to try it yourself? Pause the video now and give it a try. Ready to see my solution? I first added the figure element. Nested within the figure, I added the image element and set the src attribute to pets.jpg, which is in the images folder. I set the alt text. I then set a height of 100 and width of 150. Is that close to what you came up with? We want some text under the image, so let's add a fig caption element for a caption and set it to virtual pet cafe. With the figure caption, we don't really need this heading, so let's delete it. Click Go Live to serve up this page. Oh, that's so cute! If you plan to move directly into the next clip, you can leave Live Server running, and we'll pick up from where we left off in the next coding along. For now, let's go back to the slides. So, add visual interest to your website with images. The IMG, or image, element tells the browser to display an image. An image minimally requires the SRC attribute set to the URL for the image. This is the source location where the browser will find the image to display. The alt attribute provides alternate text that's displayed when the image is not downloaded. And the height and width size the image so it's the correct scale for the page. Be sure to pay attention to the aspect ratio. And if you plan to use images from the internet, pay attention to copyrights. Are you tired of starting and stopping live server for every page we want to serve up? I am. Let's add some navigation so we can directly link from page to page. Okay.